Hey guys, it's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this bag, but I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple handle repair on it. So, if you guys remember this bag, I purchased it a few weeks ago from the Goodwill. I got it for the low, low price of $10. Such a good deal, you guys. So amazing. And this is a Kate Spade bag. It is called the... It is called the Kate Spade Carlisle Street Sylvie. It's a patent leather. This is the satchel. And it retails for $345. We got this for $10, you guys. And honestly, this... The handles are really the only problems. This one, like the edge coating is coming off. This is actually a pretty easy fix. This one, the edge coating has gone completely off and has started fraying. This is going to be a little bit more difficult to fix, but I'm going to show you guys how to do a repair on this because this is a very, very common problem that happens a lot with handbags. And <clears throat> it comes with a strap. And the inside is fairly clean. It just has a couple little makeup smudges, which is totally fine. It's easily fixable with just um, a couple baby wipes. So other than that, we already conditioned the bag. And if you want the link for that, I'll have it linked right... Where am I linking it? Right here for you guys if you want to check it out. And that, I just use the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care like I always use for all of my handbags. It's the best. I love, love, love this product. And no, I'm not endorsed by them, but I wish I was. If Cadillac, you are watching, hi. I love your product. You're awesome. Um, but this bag is gorgeous and let's get to fixing it. So what we're going to need today is I'm going to use this tear mender, tear mender glue. This is Bish's Original. It is a leather glue which is perfect because you want the bag to still be able to move and this is like an elastic glue so this is perfect for what we're trying to do today and then we're going to be using just some standard paint brushes um i like to use the um the like the plastic bristles i don't like to use any like natural fiber bristles because for some reason it activates the glue and then the glue will just stick and then it's not going to work so you want something that's like an inorganic substance some sort of plastic don't use like any sort of horse hair or anything like that and then last but not least we're going to be using the angeles acrylic black paint now this paint is what we're going to be using to cover up the broken spot right here and let me show you what we're going to be oh and also we're going to be using just these little plastic clamps you can get these at any um like stationery store at staples michael's target walmart wherever um 99 cent store you can buy a bunch of these and this is what we're going to be using to clamp down this little problem right here while we're fixing it up so i think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the easy side so the easy side is actually going to be this handle right here with this broken little spot <clears throat> now let me get closer to the bag so you guys can see it actually let me just zoom in for you zoom 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 let me make my heart go boom boom my supernova girl do you guys remember that movie i love xenon and i love that song it was so catchy but we're gonna be fixing this part right up today uh, how am i gonna do this so that i can actually Um, sorry guys, this is just a little awkward. Alright, so, let's get started. Now, as you can see, you can still kind of like put this back on, but you're going to have a little extra, if you see that right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to snip that little part right there where it is broken, and we're actually going to reuse this edge coating because it's pretty hard to um, purchase edge coating that's like this I don't know I've never found I've never found any and everyone I just like layer on the acrylic paint to do it and that's what a lot of professionals have told me to do so that's how I do it and we're just gonna glue this back on like that with the leather glue and that's all we're gonna do with this so this is gonna be fairly easy fairly fairly simple and I'm just going to use just a little plastic thing. This is just... <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm like a little under the weather today. This is just the top of my watercolor 
palette and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this glue right there you're gonna want to shake this up really really well too to make sure that all the contents are evenly distributed throughout and just gonna squeeze a little on here and a little of this goes a long way you guys you only need a very little amount of glue it's, and this glue dries very fast so you're gonna want to work a little fast as well and we're just going to apply the glue to this right here so we're just going to put that on dab it on And I'm going to apply some as well to the underside of this. And just push it down. And that dries very, very, very fast, you guys. So you don't even have to take, like, press it down for very long. It's just going to stick really quick. And now we're just going to do the other side. I hope you guys can see see this. Did you guys see it when I did it the first time? Anyway, you guys can see that, right? Yeah, you can. Alright, so, just like last time, just apply this glue. And like I said, this glue is very tacky, and it dries so quickly, and the second that it, like, hits something like an organic substance for some reason, it just activates. So you want to work very, very fast. Just going to drop this on. And I'm just gonna allow that overhang to stick out for a second while it dries, and then I'm gonna cut it off. And this is kind of like how you're gonna bypass having to do layers and layers of the acrylic paint because this piece was still attached, which is actually like amazing. So we're just <laughs> reusing it. So that you don't have to try to recreate it. Um, and then we're just going to snip it right there. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. My coughing is like out of control. I sound like an 80 year old smoker. I don't even smoke because I'm allergic to, al to nicotine, <laughs> to alcohol. I'm actually allergic to alcohol too. It's awful. So I don't, I can't drink or smoke because I'll just die of <laughs> allergic reactions. But, as you can see, it is all on there. It's pretty good. And I'm just going to wait for it to dry even more. And then the little like pieces of glue that came out right here, this easily comes off. And then that's pretty much it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of paint right here. There's like a little sp space right there. And let me just rub off the rest of this gl excess glue right here. And we'll be all set with that. Now for the paint. Actually, I'm going to shake this up a little bit too. I always like to shake everything up a little bit. Shake up the paint a little bit. And I don't like to use this paintbrush. It's like not the best. I just like to use the regular paintbrush. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of paint off of there and then just cover this up. I'll actually probably do the whole thing just so that it has like a new coat of paint and look nice and shiny and new to match the other side. And you don't have to do anything too crazy, that's just like, we're just covering up the edge coating. And I'm just gonna put a little extra inside this crack. Kinda just like layer it on. And this also dries very fast too, so you don't have to wait very long for it to dry. But, 
In the meantime, And there we go, you guys. It looks fantastic. It looks so good. Can you guys see how good that looks? It looks amazing. So this side is all done. Now we just have to do this other side. Okay, guys, so this side is done. And now let's try and repair this other side of the bag that requires a little love as well how i fix this bag up so now i can zoom in even more so as you can see here is the handle and all of this has just like started separating which is awful but like i said we can fix this easily with a little tear mender and a little glue so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use our tear mender glue Put a little drop right there. And don't forget to close this up too, guys. It's so important to close it because the glue dries out so quickly. And we're just going to want to place the glue all along the interior right here. <laughs> Clip it up for a second to make sure that the glue stays nice and steadfast on there while we're waiting for it to dry. And I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes and I'm just gonna let the glue settle and I will be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so I let it dry for a couple minutes and now we're gonna take off these clips See how it turned out. Now it's pretty good. Some of the puckering is going to be expected because the leather has stretched obviously so that'll be fine. It's, you're not going to really notice once the edge coating is on there anyway. And I just feel a little inconsistency right here, like a little piece of leather sticking up. So I'm just going to cut it off so that it doesn't leave like a weird bump once I do the edge coating. So again, we're just going to use our acrylic paint, just like on the other side. And we're going to layer this paint on. And we're just going to use the regular paintbrush that I have right here. Just using the paint off of this. And we're just going to paint this in. And we're going to have to do a couple layers. So you just kind of have to be patient and just wait for it to dry and then repaint it again. And then wait for it to dry and then repaint it again. Because you're, wanna, you're going to want to mimic the raised effect of the regular edge coating throughout the rest of the strap. But you can already see that just doing this little, this first layer is already helping exponentially. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. I hope it's not like blurring out. I can't really see that well from where I'm sitting. But I'm kind of just like layering that paint on there nice and thick. So that it creates a raised effect just like the other side of, or just like the rest of this the edge coating so that is what I'm trying to create recreate right now well like I said you're gonna have to do a couple coats of this so I'm gonna let it sit gonna let it wait and then come back again and do it again until I'm satisfied it's kind of just like putting icing on the cake and then just like evening it out 
So I just like put like a huge fat like layers of paint right now. I'm gonna let it sit and then I'm gonna do it a couple more times and then I'll be back with you guys with the final product. But this is what it looks like so far. To me, I think it looks exponentially better than what it was. And you honestly can't even tell unless you look really, really closely and stare at it. But I think it's looking really, really good so far. So, there is that. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back with the bag. Now, I have finished up fixing... Oh, uh, of course, I'll put this handle on backwards. So, <laughs> um, I reattached the handle, <laughs> but I reattached it backwards, of course. But I finished um, fixing up the edge coating on both of the handles. On the second one, the one that took a lot more work, that one... Um, I don't even know how many layers of paint I had to do, but each bag is going to be a little different depending on how big that um, gap is between the um, the amount of like edge coating that you need to apply. So there's no really given number. I would say to just keep applying the edge coating until it looks um, even with the rest of the edge coating. This is just a little difficult because it's patent leather. Okay, so I have it all together. There is, there is this handle right here, and then this handle right here. So we have repaired both of the handles. The bag looks honestly good as new. It's good to go. Uh, the leather of this bag is again it's in really great condition. Just like I showed you guys before, I would definitely, definitely, a hundred percent always condition my patent leather because it prevents your bags from cracking and it prevents the pat like the the finish on the bag to dry up and like get gross or anything so then it also prevents scratching because you know if there's if the bag is properly conditioned it'll help against scratching and dye transfer and all that so it's always important to take care of your bags but that is how you would repair the handles on these bags you can do that for almost any type of bag handle as long as it has the edge coating and you're able to match the edge coating color then why not and even if you can't find the right color um angelus acrylic paint you can always just touch up all of the edge edge coating it's not very hard you just need to do a thin layer of paint all around and you're good to go and that angelus acrylic paint it does mimic the edge coating very very well so and I have, honestly, I've, if anyone knows where to actually find actual edge coating, I know that the Tandy, Tandy Leather Factory does, no, is it Tandy? I think it's Tandy. They sell edge coating, and I actually bought some, and I have it around here somewhere, but I don't really like using it because the consistency is so watery. It's like the consistency of regular leather dye so I feel like it's not thick enough and you have to layer so many layers on and it's like almost impossible to mimic the um, original edge coating that you get with a bag so I have, I find that the acrylic paint is so much better and the acrylic paint is also flexible and everything so the bag you can even if it's not the handle just like any part of the bag it can still move it can still flex and it's not gonna crack and break off so that is my fix for the handle hope you guys like it let me know down below in the comments what you guys think uh, I might actually have this bag for sale um, so check out my Instagram and my shop so if anyone is interested in purchasing this or if I haven't been able to get it up yet let me know down in the comments below I don't know if I'll be able to put it up for sale yet I might wait until I get back from the Philippines just because I'm so busy right now and pretty much everything I have is closing down until I get back um, at the mid end of August so and if you guys want to follow me around my trip to the Philippines definitely subscribe it's completely free I post videos every single day and I love you guys so so much and if, again if you guys have any questions about any handbag repairs or anything like that let me know down in the comments below and I would love to help you guys out and check out my other videos I have tons of other handbag repairs even more extreme than this one I have my Celine's that I fixed up the Chanel um, Prada bag and I'll have all those linked at the top right here and you guys can also check out my um oh what are they called
my playlist that's what they're called <laughs> I have a playlist filled with all of my bag rehab videos and all and I have them all separated in different categories if you guys want to check them out I have my bag rehab my trip to the thrifts my hauls my bag collections and all that and I have a ton more videos for you guys and let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see so I can fill them before I go to the Philippines I know a bunch of you guys wanted to see my bag rehab or my bag my bag collections so I think I'm gonna do three separate collections I'm gonna do my thrifted bags I'm gonna do bags I bought full price and then SLG small leather goods wallets um, pouches cases and all that stuff and what else oh I also wanted to congratulate Elsa. Hi Elsa, I'm gonna insert your photo right here. You're holding your, um, Elsa actually purchased a Proenza tote bag for me and she dyed it herself using the steps that I showed you guys in one of my um, how to dye handbag videos. So congratulations Elsa, the bag looks wonderful. You look gorgeous and I'm so happy that you're so happy and I just wanted to share your success with everyone here. So it's totally possible for any of you guys to do a handbag redye rehab as well it's so easy Elsa you're amazing I love you so much and thank you guys so so much for watching and with that adios okay so this is how I want it to start hey guys check out all this really cute stuff that I found it all fits in my little Hermes Kelly plastic bag that I found the other day but it doesn't really all fit in there so the first thing um, you guys saw just when I was thrifting right now this really cute Obey sweater this isn't an extra large. I think this is like brand new too. Like it's so new and it's like really nice. I'm gonna wear that I think at the airport when we go to the Philippines. And then I found these 